Kevin Belson. He likes Pied Piper. I own 10% of Pied Piper. You said it was a shitty idea. It was a shitty idea. Uh, I'm not sure what it is now. What time's the meeting? Right now. I'm gonna need a better shirt. <laughs> so he's the money man. Please. Basically, he basically bankrolls all the ideas of all the nerds. And then he hopes he hits on something good. TJ Miller is basically the man behind the scene. Gavin is running 30 minutes late, but you should know he is very excited to see you, Richard. Uh, he was there already. He's with his spiritual advisor. He shouldn't be that much longer. I mean, I'm a VP here, and I only get to see him about 10 minutes a month. Yeah, but that 10 minutes is just incredible. They always travel in groups of five. These programmers, there's always a tall, skinny white guy, short, skinny Asian guy, fat guy with a ponytail, some guy with crazy facial hair, and then an East Indian guy. It's like they trade guys until they all have the right group. <laughs> you clearly have a great understanding of humanity. He was like a bully in something back in the 90s. And Gavin said, I'm not humiliating you. I'm elevating you. Oh, Gavin. <laughs> it's Peter Gregory. Uh, no. Uh-oh. Are people trying to scoop on, him up? Head. Yeah, I'm coming, man. Slow. Why are you going that fast? Because we got a meeting with Gavin Belson. Pick up the pace. We honestly Come on, don't. don't. Is he going dressed like that? He looks like a sloppy hobo. Um, I'm actually outside of Gavin Belson's office right now, Mr. Gregory. Uh, here he comes, so can I call you back in a second? Okay. There you are, Richard. I... So sorry these gentlemen have kept you waiting. So, here's the thing. I love what you did. Really? Philemon and Jared. Now, as you know, Cooley is seen as possibly the most progressive company in the world. Mm -hmm. Part of that is Gavin's commitment to social justice, but part of it is his personal commitment to the people that work at Hooli. I own 10%. He created while living in my incubator. Ehrlich Bachman. This is Big Head. I don't know what any of that means, but I'll give you $600,000 for it. We have the reach and the resources to take what you have done and push it to the global level. It's Peter Gregory. Not sure how he got my number. People are fighting uh, over it already. Richard, I'll give you $3 million for it right now. Uh, 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 Gavin Belson just offered me $3 million for Pied Piper. I'm prepared to give you $300,000. Peter Gregory just offered me three hundred. dollars um, But stock, uh, like uh, shares in it. Thousand? Percentage. 10% of your company. Okay, $4 million. 200000 For For 5%. 5%. Huh? Yeah, uh, you had, you just went down. No. No. You're still valued at four million dollars. Yeah. But you own ninety-five percent of a potential billion-dollar company. And not just that. Oh my God. I will help you build this company. I will introduce you to the people you need. Better to deal. Know and provide the counsel that you need. I will take a small piece, but the company will belong to you, not so much better. Gavin Belson. So much better. You have until tomorrow to decide. You never sell your company. That is a lot of money. Don't take it. I'll be right back. Which but means right now. Okay, 10 million. 10 no. million. Maybe. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll talk in a bit. Which means he'd get a million dollars because he's got 10%. He should sell his 10%. Uh, I'm the founder of Aviato, and I own a very small percentage of Grinder. It's a men to men dating site where you can find other men within 10 miles of you interested in having sexual intercourse in a public restroom. In the homosexual community, there's sometimes anonymous. I know what Grinder is. I have gay friends. TJ Miller should say, I'll sell you my 10% for a million dollars. That's what he just offered 10 million. He owns 10%. We had a guy in here in almost the exact same situation. Take the money or keep the company. What happened? Well, a couple months later, he was brought into the ER with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. I guess he really regretted not taking that money. Oh, my God. He shot himself because he turned down the money? Yeah. <laughs> or no, no, he took the money. Or no. <laughs> no, he did not. I don't, you know what? I don't remember. Hard Whatever it was, he regretted it so much that he ended up shooting himself, and now he's blind. 
Yeah, just FYI, if you're ever going to shoot yourself, don't hold the gun up to your temple, okay? Because that just basically took out both of his optic nerves and then, you know, half of his face. And then his wife left him because, you know. Oh, my God. Yikes. Richard. Hi. Monica, I work with Peter Gregory, met outside the TED. Yeah, I remember you. What, uh, how'd you know I was here? Peter Gregory's invested in a company that uses GPS and phones to track people. Yeah. That's creepy. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Neither does Congress. Are you okay? Look, um, I don't want to waste your time. I think I gotta take the money from Gavin Belson. At least this way, when I blow my eyeballs out, I'll have some money left for my family. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. That is a terrible doctor. Doctor. In there. Richard, buried in that clunky UI of yours is a compression algorithm that blew our engineering team away. And what do you think Hooli is going to do with it? I don't know. That's, just, that's their business. This is your baby. Do you even realize the impact that a compression this good could have on the world? Getting any file on your mobile phone in an instant. Navigation data for self-driving cars, mobile medical imagery, all transmitting with no quality loss. This is game changing. And don't you want to be in the driver's seat when that happens? How did he do it? Do you it? really want to just turn it all over to Hooli? Walk away? Yeah. Let me give you a ride home. Uh, okay. Thanks. Are they gonna start dating? Is that gonna be like his Dude? Oh. Where have you been? Why won't you answer your phone? Man, this has grown way beyond Angelus, man. And Dreesen, Elevation, and like a bunch of other seed firms are piling onto this thing. I mean, they've been calling early. He's out of control. What if, what if we took Peter Gregory's 200K and built our own company? I'm sorry, you said we? Who's that in reference to exactly? I mean, you, me, Dinesh, Big Head, us. I mean, right now, Pied Piper just does audio, but I'm thinking of ways to compress images, video. I mean, maybe Peter Gregory is right. Maybe this thing's... They ask for more money from Peter guys, Gregory. For thousands of years, guys like us have gotten the shit kicked out of us. But now, for the first time, we are living in an era where we can be in charge and build empires. We can be the Vikings of our day. Vikings? How are you feeling? You look super fucked up, to be honest. <laughs> Who ate my fucking quinoa again? So you're really about to go tell Ehrlich that he's not going to get his $1 million? Yeah, I don't want to be there when you do that. I would like to be there when you do that. No, I would too. I would love to see T.J. Miller freak out over a million dollars. I think I'm going to go with Peter Gregory. Uh, which I know means... Richard. I know that you look at me and see a guy who has it all figured out. <laughs> and for the most part, you're right. I do. When I sold Aviato, you gave me a house, money... Fancy clothes. Oh, he's gonna say he regretted it. Of all the ladies, but there's always been a hole in my heart. Not a literal hole like you would find in some babies with congenital diseases, but a metaphorical hole. I guess that hole is the what if. What if I didn't sell? I'll never know. So I guess what I'm saying to you now is, you're like me, Richard. You want to build something and see it through. So he's on board? Uh, so, uh, just to be clear, you're all right with me saying no to a deal that will net you a million dollars outright? No, Richard, I'm not all right with it. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Let's see how high this rocket can fly, partner. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay. He Great. sees the potential. Uh, not partners, exactly. But everything else is great. <laughs> Call her what you want. Awesome. I was going to say, they're all smart guys. They got to understand. I'd like for this company to just be different than Hooli and Gooly Bib and all the rest, you know? Like, let's not turn this into a corporate cult, you know, with bike meetings and voluntary retreats that are actually mandatory, mm -hmm. claiming to make the world a better place all the time. Let's, uh, let's just think different. Uh, don't think different. That's Apple. Uh, the, um... Let's just let's just do it. That's Nike, man. Uh, I know it's Nike. Yeah. I don't know. Let's just make it let's make it happen. Yeah, agree. To his beneficence. Peter Gregory? The Dark Lord. Of course, the Dark Lord. Big head. 
God, he's worse high. <laughs> <laughs> the dude right next to Tim Middlebush right now, is he not a regular on the show? Because I don't ever see him in promotional stuff. Very cool show, guys. Most of the shows I've watched, I did not expect a lot of what was going on. This pretty much was exactly as I expected. It is a comedy based in Silicon Valley. A lot of nerds, a lot of nerd humor. I definitely like it, though. Each one's got their own little comedic way about him. Camille Nanjani's got a very passive comedic way. Tim Middlebush is like the nervous guy. TJ Miller is the I don't give a shit lunatic guy, but it seems like he's extremely smart and knows what he's doing. Martin Starr is like basically the dude with attitude where it seems like you don't trust anybody. Getting upside down crosses tattooed, cheersing to Satan, so to speak. He is definitely the craziest of the group. The guy that owns Hooli even said... Each group has five guys and it fits this demographic. They don't have a fat guy, though. I guess TJ Miller's their fat guy, but he's borderline chubby at this point. Where's their Asian guy? They don't have an Asian guy. He said they got a Middle Eastern guy, an Asian guy, a skinny white guy, a fat white guy with a ponytail. They don't have an Asian guy and they lack a super fat guy. They have a chubby guy. TJ Miller's borderline. But very cool. Definitely dig it. It went off very fast. When they were mentioning Pie Piper, I'm like, oh, so this whole season is going to be about them building up that company. Within like 20 minutes, they want to buy it for $10 million. Now, what he should do is not just take the 200000 for 5%. I think he should take the percentage, but he should go back to that guy and be like, dude, Hooli offered me 10 mil. Give me 5% of 10 mil, which is $500,000. Give me 500000 for 5% and we got a deal. If not, I'm going to sell it for the 10 mil. Even if you don't plan on selling it for the 10 mil, negotiate, play hardball. The guy's going to give you 500000 They're thinking this is a potential billion dollar company. You don't think the guy's going to double it or triple it when there's a potential billion dollars to make on this thing? The guy's going to give you the money and it is a real offer. It's not like you're lying to him and the guy isn't offering you 10 mil. 10 mil is on the table. So he already jumped at 200,000 when he heard the guy was offering 4 mil, he would easily probably jump at 500,000 for 5% when the guy's going to 10 mil. So I hope they don't just immediately take the 200,000. But I won't know unless you guys watch this and I start reacting to it on Thursdays. So let me know what you guys think. Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.